Here's our second example problem of uh, variation of parameters. So we have y double prime minus 2y prime plus y equals e to the x times ln of x. So looking at the left-hand side here, the auxiliary equation, m squared minus 2m plus 1 equal to 0. Factoring here, we're going to get m minus 1, m minus 1. So we get repeated real roots here. We get m equals 1 twice. So if we were writing down our complementary function, and we would say y sub c equals c1 e to the x, and then in order to have linear independence for our second term, we would need to multiply in that, const that x term there. So c2 x e to the x would be our complementary function based on uh, work we did with the auxiliary equation with the homogeneous example, so check those out if you haven't already. And remember, so now our solution is going to equal this complementary function we just got plus y sub p, and remember y sub p is equal to u1 times y1 plus u2 times y2. Since we already have y sub c, we already know our y1 and our y2 from this form we can say y1 is going to be e to the x y2 is going to be x e to the x and then we can work our first Ronsky in from that so taking those two equations and putting them in the first row e to the x and x times e to the x so the derivative of each of those the derivative of e to the x is e to the x the derivative of x times e to the x, that's a product rule, so we will have x e to the x plus e to the x for that derivative. And so when we work this out, here we'll get e to the x times x e to the x plus e to the x minus e to the x times x e to the x. And that then gives us x e to the 2x plus e to the 2x when we distribute there. And then we get minus x e to the 2x. So here we have terms that add to 0, giving us just e to the 2x for our Ronsky in there. So that's w. Now we need w1 and w2. Remember, we get w1 and w2 by replacing the first and second columns with a 0 and g, to, uh, g of x. So w1 is going to be the determinant with 0 and e to the x ln x, based on our g of x up here. And then we don't touch the second column. So the second column stays x e to the x and x e to the x plus e to the x. So there's our w1. w2, we put 0 and g of x in for the second column. So 0, e to the x, ln x. We wouldn't touch the original first column we had, which was e to the x and e to the x. So now we work these determinants here. So w1 is going to equal 0 minus x e to the 2x ln x when we do that determinant. W2 is going to equal e to the 2x ln x minus 0. So go ahead and rewrite those. So W1 is negative x e to the 2x ln x, or whichever order you prefer those in. W2 then is just e to the 2x ln x. Okay, so we'll continue. So remember, we're trying to find just our y sub p, our second part of our solution, which is u1 times y1 plus u2 times y2. So we need to start finding u1 and u2. And remember, u1 prime is going to equal w1 over w. So that will give us negative x e to the 2x ln x over e to the 2x. 
So that will reduce there and we'll get negative x ln x for u prime 1 there and then u2 prime here we get w2 over w and that gives us e to the 2x ln x over e to the 2x reducing there just gives us ln of x for u prime 2 so now to find u1 and u2 we need to integrate so in other words u1 is going to equal the integral of negative x ln x dx and u2 is going to equal the integral of ln x dx both of these we would want to do by parts the integration I'll go ahead and skip that step here and we'll assume you're okay integrating by parts if not check out the videos and so u1 is going to equal negative x squared over 2 ln x plus x squared over 4 technically plus c and then u squared is going to be x times the ln of x minus x technically plus c also We'll go ahead and now start building our y sub p. So y sub p is going to be negative x squared over 2 ln x plus x squared over 4 times y1, which is e to the x, plus u2, x ln x minus x, times y2, which is x e to the x. Okay, so let's go ahead and say what we've got there. So then y sub p is going to equal negative one half, uh, let's call it x squared e to the x ln x plus one fourth x squared e to the x plus, and then distributing here we'll get x squared e to the x ln x minus x squared e to the x. And then you'll notice here that these two terms are negative one-half there and our plus there are like terms. So negative one-half plus one, that'll give us one-half of those. One-half x squared e to the x ln x and then our plus one-fourth and our minus here are like terms so a fourth minus one would give us negative three-fourths x squared e to the x so this is our y sub p and now if we just combine that with our y sub c we're all finished with our solution so our y sub c which was way up here at the very beginning so our solution is going to equal c1 e to the x plus c2 x e to the x plus one half x square e to the x ln x minus three fourths x square e to the x.